All right, so a new study says that men who buy sex are much more likely to commit more crimes. If you buy a a, a prostitute. Mm -hmm. A lady of the night. How is that possible? I don't know. Because that's a crime. It's a crime. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first crime. (laughs) Ignorance of the law is no. (laughs) (laughs) No, whatever. Yeah, I get it. Uh, Oh, okay. That's Go great, on. That's a great story. So, a uh, man survived in a trunk after the car plunged into the river. Hang river. on. Co- Coco needs to say something. <gasps> oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Rich does not have headphones to hear this. Yeah. Oh, Unbelievable. Yeah. I didn't I didn't I'll, I'll let him hear it. You could sit on my lap. Yeah. I'm You're not. I, I can't away. play it again. All right. So, a man survived in the trunk after his car plunged into the river. Um, the car was filling up with water. He figured that the only way to survive was to go and sit in the trunk. Yeah. Wait, how did so he get he in the climbed. trunk? There yeah. are cars where there's hole. Um, you okay. can get to it through the back seat. Mm-hmm. So the car was filling with water. So he, he decided to trunk. open the the latch to go into the trunk. He couldn't get out of the car. He went into the la- uh, into the trunk and he hung out there until safety. Wait, there was enough like water couldn't get in. In the trunk, I guess it's harder to fill with water. I guess in the car was easier. Trunk trunks are usually lined, so no water gets in them. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. so you know when it rains. It yeah, I I'm gonna go die in the trunk. Even yeah, I, even I do that. That's this where I'm gonna go. I might as well die like a movie character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the Idaho Washington border, that's where this happens. That's mm. a horrible way to die. Like, can you imagine? Like, died in the trunk. Dying drowning? like drowning. Yeah, yeah. that's scary mm. shit, man. That's terrifying. You know, I, it, oh, yeah. that's like right dream. up there with like prison riot. Yeah. No, but that's I at least but no, but like you get shanked in prison, yeah. you know? Like that's an expected it. death. And yeah. somebody took months to make that shift. Yeah. Don't yeah. think they just came in there with a knife so all willy nilly. I appreciate the craftsmanship. I do. Oh, yeah. I, I the better appreciate it. <laughs> right. Like if some guy's sitting there sh- uh, sharpening a toothbrush <laughs> for four months and then decides to stab me in the throat <laughs> during a prison riot. <laughs> I kind of deserved it. I'm gonna be. Thanks for sharing your art. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> like it's spurning yeah. out the neck. Right. You also have time to like kind of see your life go by. Cause yeah. You know you're as, as bleeding as out. I, I think I'm gonna be robbed all the time. Like I think I'm gonna mm-hmm. die in a, like a robbery. Like mm-hmm. somebody's gonna break into my house. The other night, my brother caught me sleepwalking. I ca- I can't believe I forgot to put this in the notes. About three thirty in the morning. Yeah. It's like Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I remember I had a dream. I remember like I was sleeping and I got up and I had a dream where somebody was walking up our steps Mm -hmm. and I got up. Now I'm I'm out of the dream thinking, oh my God, somebody's at our door Mm -hmm. three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And the screwed up thing is like, I can't see the door. Mm -hmm. Like I could see from my window outside. So I'm like, who the hell is this? And I see these two guys like coming up the steps. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, people are going to break in. Yeah. I go out. My brother's up, three mm-hmm. thirty in the morning, and I remember him going, "What are you doing? What, what happened?" I'm like, "Alec, there's somebody at the door. Mm-hmm. We have to go down and see what's going on." Yeah. I start walking down. He goes, "Andrew, are you okay?" And I woke up mm-hmm. on the steps. Mm-hmm. I was dreaming. I was sleepwalking. <laughs> I thought I was being robbed. It's my biggest fear. Now, how many times a day do you? How many times a night do I say, "Did you lock the door? Oh, do you think six. the door is locked?" Do you think the, and I get up, I check the doors. I don't believe that the doors are this locked. This is such a safe neighborhood. I know. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes the safest neighborhoods are where they'll strike first. Yeah. Oh, is, is I have, I have a plan. plan. I have an exit strategy. I don't know. I just made that up to scare Andrew. Yeah. Whole yeah. strategy. You're, you're What's the exit strategy? I take my gun and I shoot them. <laughs> I thought your extra strategy was like I take my gun and I blow my brains. Out. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never get it. They'll never get it. You're never gonna get world. me. <laughs> You'll never find out what the gold if is. If you come in here, I'll kill myself. <laughs> you could have Jess. <laughs> Do you know how much that would confuse a burglar? <laughs> if you were just I like, got a gun. I'll shoot myself. I'll shoot myself. I love that. I'll idea. do it. I love that idea. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna <laughs> they walk in. You're standing like, Yo. there. You'll never have my DVDs. <laughs> 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 Blow your brains out. Statistically, it's usually houses closer to the expressway they get right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and train so. stations. Fast getaway. Yeah. You know, We're, fast by getaway. Both. We're by both. And right. parks. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, dude, I'm it's closer a, to a train within station. Within a mile yeah. of a park, um, a train station, and a highway. We're within. We hit every single one of those. And um, my my mom also hits every single one of those. And she bought this like. Yeah, but she's not in a good neighborhood. <laughs> sick. Twisted. Your mom is in Valley Stream. That's that's 
She's it's by the Green Acres. Are you kidding me? She's it's by the Green Acres Mall. Yeah, that requires definitely. Yeah, it's yeah. funny seeing so many metal got detectors this to go to the theater. Ridiculous, like security system where there's like 15 cameras all around the house. Good. Wow. And it, when you open her closet, there's television screens where you can see all of the different cameras. And she says that um, the most interesting television she's watched now is the neighbor's backyard because they get into arguments. She yeah. Can, Watch them. I would totally do that. Why <laughs> yeah, do I totally don't think that's an invasion of privacy. No, at all. not at all. Is she a drug lord? <laughs> <laughs> right? That's like you would think. Like she's like this little suburban mom. Jess's like. mom only wears white suits right. everywhere <laughs> she goes. Just watch out for when she starts smoking cigars. Yeah, white right? suit and like a black yeah. dress shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else do we have? She gets her like minions to buy her 120 chicken nuggets every yeah. night. <laughs> so she sells nuggets. <laughs> Black market. All right. So two men were arrested in New Jersey after climbing into the back of a police car and taking a picture, pretending that they were had gotten arrested. <laughs> <laughs> why would why would people? <laughs> well, you know, it's funny though because um, do you remember for my 25th birthday we decided we were going to do that big um, scavenger. scavenger hunt? Yes. Yeah. I was and there. Yeah. No, okay. you were not. Coco was there. You um, RSVP'd yes and then didn't show up. <laughs> so we, one of the things on the list was um, get arrested. Yeah. And it was worth like five points. Yeah. And then it was worth 10 if the picture was taken in the back of a police car. Yeah. So it made me wonder like maybe these guys were like on a scavenger hunt, like trying to get all the different pieces because I had gotten a lot How of How mad would you have been at me if I just punched the cop? <laughs> For the sake of so the scavenger hunt. So for the sake of for the sake of the, the scavenger hunt and I got arrested. Yeah, that would be pretty pretty bad. But I did I did play. Wait, yeah. only ten points? Yeah, That's I think it was it? like ten maybe it was fifteen, I don't it has know. Has to be more than it had to have been more yeah, than Yeah, there was nothing no, nothing else was more than five points. Right. Everything was like one point, two points. Oh, okay, all right. So now so I understand the scale. In comparison. Yeah, okay. We the won element them. of danger. Yeah. Yes. Increased it. Right. Yeah. Um so so, yeah, so they got arrested. Most cop cars are unlocked. You could actually just walk in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, really I'm, <coughs> I'm sure that's what happened. Yeah. And I had gotten a lot of those things from the national uh, scavenger hunt, the national digital scavenger hunt. And it goes on every single year. And there's like 3,000 or 300 things that you can do on that list. And that you send in your photos of you doing them. Mm -hmm. And that was one of the items that was on the list. So it made me wonder if they were actually part of the national scavenger hunt. Maybe they were doing it. And that's how they got arrested, but no, no follow up to it. No follow up to it. They just they were arrested. That's un that's unfortunate. I wonder when they're taking pictures of them getting like raped in jail. Is that part of the scavenger hunt? How many points that's, do you that's get? That's thirty points. That's th yeah. just thirty yeah. points. Thirty points. <laughs> Only thirty. <laughs> so yeah. unfortunate. They lose. Forty five if you get a picture and shanked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take a photo quick. <laughs> we like this. So, um, in other ironic news, a uh, cheetah attacked two filmmakers who were making a film about how friendly cheetahs are. <laughs> <laughs> how ironic. Uh. Uh, all right. The, so che the cheetahs are... See how they're so <laughs> friendly. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a cheetah noise at all. Not at all. What I was, was like that? a baby. Was I was a baby. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 70 miles an I, hour. I went somewhere really dark with the baby. Yeah. And then I <laughs> took it right back. Uh, okay. <laughs> What'd you say? It involved Casey Anthony. Of course it okay. did. Okay. So, um, a Mississippi woman. I want to know what it was. Tried to. I can't. <sighs> you told me not to be so dark. Stop it. I said <laughs> the joke was, <laughs> was that the last thing Kaylee Anthony said? <laughs> okay. So she was a mocking cheetahs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you got to go in the trunk now. Ha ha ha. Oh dear. Mary Jess. Oh okay. Yeah. So funny. Can we burn the couch? Please, I'd rather sit on the floor. Than right, on this continue, giant, Jess. Do you want us? Do you want us to burn? <laughs> okay. So a Mississippi woman um, tried to shoot a puppy who was That's allegedly disgusting. attacking her kids. It was a pit bull named Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> fair yeah. enough. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, He's possessed. <laughs> so like she tried to kill the puppy. Unfortunately, she had really bad aim. Ended up killing her husband. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was the husband's name? <laughs> also cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's insane. First of all, yeah. who are these people walking around with guns? Yeah. Who are these people that name their Apparently pit bull cocaine? Cool dudes. Yeah. Very cool <laughs> dudes. <laughs> the best dudes in the world. Yeah. The same people that named their Rottweilers Kilo. Yeah. Right. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> I've got this cockatiel I had, I had, named I had a Matt. friend. I had a friend, uh, a black guy. He named it. his Rottweiler Shut the N-word. Shut up, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go on. I, I, guess, I guess you and Coco are having a... Su- no, no, because okay, he keep, no, 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 that's fine. Continue he keeps just, on just continue pissing adjust. me off to no end. Continue, Justin. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. And Coco is short for cocaine, but go, go. Ahead. Continue. Named his Rottweiler. No, I'm done. I want to know. Uh, no, I said it already. You can listen to the replay. Continue, Justin. I don't think you're going to hear it with me and Coco talking over Probably not. No. Okay, go on. Okay. So, in a new study, research shows that lions eat people during full moons. But they don't eat people. Who did this study? It was a research study. I got this off of MSNBC. By the way, th- you know, funding is going to the study, right? Of course. You know, there, there's, there's massive grants. And that's sick about this because they there are all too? these studies. And the, between that and the study about the, the men who buy sex and they're more likely to commit other crimes. Who cares? There was a study um, <laughs> that said... Depending on your penis size, I, I don't know if is this in your news. No, and it was for gay men. Yeah, it determines what position you are in bed. Now, this was a national study. Mm-hmm. Grants were given, money was spent on this okay. on this study. Yeah, to determine that if you have a lar- smaller penis, you 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 receive. You receive. How do you know it just wasn't like one slutty gay guy conducting the study? A no, rich, it was. I, 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 rich no, guy. I, I, well, I forgot who did the study, but it was like a ma- major study. And it, I'm sure millions of dollars were spent on this study. And do you know how many studies are conducted every day? Ridiculous, stupid studies that take up so much money mm-hmm. from grants. Yeah. Tax, uh, it's a government money. I know. That's Get rid of all studies. I want no studies. You know what? That's the thing, though. Nobody will have anything to talk about afterwards. Yeah. There's no studies. The National Institute of Health conducted that study. About the, the gay guys? Yeah. That's incredible. That's amazing. I, no studies. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Let like, us figure it out on our own. Let one guy say, you know what? Yeah, but I mean, this is what it is. <laughs> that, that whole gay guy study isn't something that we really need to like try and figure Why out on not? our own. Why not? You're saying valid. You want valid studies? Or just no, no, no studies. None. None. No studies. Nothing. No. We're going back to assumptions. Yeah, we're, we're just <laughs> assuming. <laughs> okay. Well, that's, that's how I knew that when he said the guy with the small penis was receiving. It was $900,000 for that study, by the way. I just assumed wow, that, crazy. like, you know, the yeah. dude with the bigger. A million dollars. Be the one doing the. Uh, A know, million dollers were con- was conducted to find out. Uh, this fact. So from now on, people will start sentences with assumptions show that yeah. you know what. <laughs> <laughs> what a ridic- This I is the problem. Should, I think we that should. Kind of start this is the problem. Uh, that is, and this is why we have to, we're in, we have such a huge deficit because we're doing these studies. Uh, why? What? Can you? Why but this is what I want to know. Look, studies? what it's, reason? It, what? Wh- name me. Tell me the reason why that study needed to be conducted. If you're a gay guy and you just want to know, how about that? Do you like, think um does everybody like have Take a poll. Does everybody yeah. else do it this way? They I do. Mean? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly how everybody does it. Yeah. But I mean, well since and you're then bigger, they said you know, if you're average, yeah. You just you're versatile. You're if you're versatile. average, you just yeah. dock. Ambidextrous. Yeah. You go both ways. <laughs> you do both. Yeah. Ambidextrous. If you're a- if 1 million dollars. <laughs> if you're both <laughs> average, you just dock. 1 million dollars. I don't know. Was there another study that said gay guys really like penises? No. Yes. That's, yeah, yeah, I, I think so. A billion one. dollars. <laughs> that's <laughs> 15 million. Now we know. Yeah. Gay dudes yeah. like yeah. other gay dudes. Studies yeah. show they like penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Italian finance police found 1,500 kilos of hashish. Where? <laughs> uh, on Monday, um, uh, two boats, two Spanish boats met in... The middle of the ocean, and they thought it was a little weird. Was it the Nina and the Pinta? <laughs> and, and, the where Santa was Santa Mar- and the Santa Maria drowned. Sang. And sang. <laughs> Just drowned. Yeah, I mean, drowned. We don't bring the Santa Maria no more. <laughs> well, they said that it was very suspicious <laughs> since there were two boats, um, and they were exchanging boxes. So they <laughs> pulled over the boats and <laughs> caught them all. These are really stupid. Uh, you know what's a great movie? Cocaine Cowboys is a great movie, and they show how they were tra- trafficking the drugs. Mm-hmm. And they were dropping it into like, m- like in Miami by the water, mm-hmm. like b- with planes and boats. Yeah. And I was saying how it took them; it, they lost millions and millions of dollars to waterproof the coke. Really? Like they were just taking like bags of coke and just throwing it in the ocean at one point. Well, you're telling me they couldn't like tie a bag proper. And no, it. they had. It took it, like millions of dollars were wasted. Well, how high were they dropping it from? Or from boats too? Like they were just dropping. It no, from like, like 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 little little. 
you know, like little duffel bags. No, like boats. Yeah, they they would like actually take like a duffel bag and throw it in the ocean, thinking it's going to survive in there. Wow. So they figured out some way to like to wrap it in cellophane, and and they finally <laughs> figured it out. But like after Ziploc. Yeah, that after, was the discovery. Right. Yeah. yeah. New study shows. <laughs> Okay, in Oakland Park, Michigan, um, after replacing a sewer line, a couple decided that they would plant a vegetable garden in mm-hmm. place of their grass in the front of their house, and they were growing basil and cabbage and tomatoes and cucumbers. However, city code states that um, only grass or ground cover must be in the front of houses. No veggies should be planted anywhere in the front of your yard, and they are facing jail time if they don't uh, take down the Get garden. rid of their tomatoes, like really? They got a couple tomatoes. Yeah, your peppers. They got, they got a couple peppers. Yeah. yeah, you know, maybe a cucumber here and An there. Herb, little herbs, yeah. little, a little herbs. cilantro. Yeah. yeah, a little basil, rosemary. Yeah, put it in the back. Yeah. So they're making this woman take. Down Nobody the wants to see your cucumbers, lady. Nobody gives a damn. Put them in the backyard. How Such much? ridiculous. They should laws. jail her for life. Like Same. stupid. I, I have a neighbor that has an IROC Z28 on cinder blocks. It's yeah, been there be since 1989. Mm. <laughs> the car has not moved. The thing is just a pile of rust, and that's fine. And yeah. it's not cool anymore. We could do that. Mm-hmm. We could allow that. We could drink Budweisers for- near that. Yeah. God forbid. You grow a little like plant. Yeah. God. <laughs> God forbid. Who the hell do you think you are with your squash? <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? Squash the squash. So a 48-year-old man drank 48 beers for his birthday. He was arrested on public intoxication <laughs> charges. Yeah. And when arrested, he told police, I think I drank 10 beers too many. It's <laughs> my birth. <laughs> Which would leave him at 38 beers. Only 10. You only think you drank 10 beers too many? I thought mm. it would have been like guys from Queen C who drinks 48 <laughs> beers. When do, you th- do, when do you think that, 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 that headline will arrive? I'm giving it two years. You know, sometimes I do some ridiculous stuff and I'm like, if I ever get arrested, <laughs> yeah. like, how would I cover this up on the show? <laughs> you couldn't. Like, how you would can't. I? Like, I, I've gone, like, I have serious road rage. <laughs> and there's been times where, like, I followed someone. I've gotten out of the car. I've gotten to fights with them. Like, if I got arrested, mm. how would I explain that somewhere down the line? Because I'm sure I'm going to have to explain my behavior. Anger management. Else. Yes. You'd go to rehab. Yeah. If, if you had to do rehab, could we film from there? We do oh, lot yeah. the show live. Yeah. Hang on. I actually I have the, the, the guy on the line. Oh, I me. have I have a video actually I have a video cl- I have an audio clip oh. of the guy. Oh uh, forty eight beers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Here we go. Let me see if this is it. I got an ad here. Hang on. Andrew, John. <laughs> Friday night. Listen. You gotta call me back. All right. Well, what happened? I, I got a problem. What's the problem? You know, forty eight beers. I, I'm I'm with all of Jessica's friends and uh-huh. I I, I can't control myself. Uh, uh, I'm doing bad things. Bad things have happened. Okay, John. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll explain later. I love that this like never ceases to yeah, disappoint. No, no. I, I feel bad that, that Rich, Rich doesn't get to hear it. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll catch it on the radio. Email yeah. it to him. A new app is getting stupid people in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> the, the app is um, a scale app. A scale app. Scale app, so people are okay. downloading the scale app, and you turn oh, it this way, idiots. it actually looks like a scale. Idiots. Um, they place it on the ground, they step on it. And oh, they that's <laughs> great. <laughs> you know what? There. You know what? That app needs to be in there. Survival of the fittest. Yes. If you if you do that, mm. you should be sent to a farm. Of course. Like they did, yeah. like they did in the 1930s with the tuberculosis farms. <laughs> send them to those farm colonies in Staten Island. Mm. You know what? Just send them to Staten Island. That's it. If you take your iPhone and you decide... Oh, look at this weigh machine here. <laughs> I'm going to st- weigh myself on it. And you step on it, guess what? <laughs> you should be put in the farm with the rest of your idiot friends. What about if you do that on your iPad? Then where do you go? Mm. But that's another stupid person. Like, yeah. how do you not realize mm. that right. 130 pounds is a little too much? What is the pound pressure on the iPad? Probably like eight. Th- yeah, like six. What do you like? Think? Like, More a, like, like a hard like, finger touch. Yeah. No, like, like, like if yeah. no, like this is about ten. Yeah, no, no, the screen would break. Yeah, yeah. So about about ten pounds. Ten pounds, Done. of course. Right. Did, did Apple develop that app? Because that would be amazing. <laughs> that would yeah. be hysterical. Yeah. Steve Jobs is just sitting there. Listen, I've got an idea for an app. We're gonna <laughs> weed them out. Yeah, this is how we're gonna we're gonna yeah. weed out the idiots. The best and the brightest are oh, Mac users. But, but Steve, you need another pancreas. Listen, I, we don't have time for that right now. I just need to get this idea out. All these stupid people buying new iPads will pay for the pancreas. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, okay. this is how I buy my. We next need pancreas. to do this right now. 
Don't put out that it's made by Apple. We'll say yeah. it's from Macintosh. From pairs. We'll say for anyone's <laughs> sake. We'll say it's from it was. It's Microsoft. It's Microsoft. They put out this app. Just do it. Get, I need it in our pancreas now. But no. people are dumb. Huh? Yeah, I've heard. I don't know if it's true, but I have heard that there's also a hammer app. What is that? <laughs> it looks like the hammer, and people. Use that. I like, mean, I've never actually seen. You know, it'd be a great app oh, it's so if it's great. just a nail yeah. on the screen, and you had to like. <laughs> you got the yeah. hit. <laughs> yes. Want to build a house on your <laughs> iPad? I told you. I told you. To st- I don't know if I told it on the show, but there was a girl I knew in in high school, and she had gotten a brand new Audi, and she had like like bird shit on the car. So she was washing the car with her friends. You mm. know, the girls are out. I'm like, ah, washing yeah. the car. I did the whole like zoo. Oh my God. Thing. Oh my God. We're washing the car. <laughs> Let's put on our shorts. We're going to put on our shorts and we're going to put on our bathing suits. And we're going to wash our car. Maybe some guys will watch us. So she, she, the car was dirty. <laughs> she decided to take a Brillo pad. Yeah. What are you yes. doing? Me and, me and Kunal are exchanging faces. She Just decided to take a story. Brillo pad. Yeah. Mm. And oh Brillo, the dried up oh shit. Like, it was like sap. It, w- it wasn't shit. It was like sap, like oh. from the tree. Whatever it was. <laughs> and, Not and good. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Mm. It was all over the hood, all over the side. Washes the car. Oh, my God. She got it down to, like, the metal. Oh. Wow. She didn't notice. Idiot. The father came home. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget this story. <laughs> <laughs> Saw the daughter, daughter comes. <laughs> Look what I did to the car. The father goes, boom! <laughs> Slaps the shit out of her. That's a well Makes her spin. I mean, hit her so hard. <laughs> She's in the bushes. She deserved it. Yeah, she totally. It. You yeah, know that's what? That's really stupid. You take a Brillo pad. You go, and and her his defense was, I spent so much money on her on her education at mm-hmm. St. Francis Prep. <laughs> <laughs> if she has not figured out mm-hmm. how to wash a fucking car, yeah. I get the hitter. <laughs> Was I that his Facebook it. update? Was that I don't know. what that, that was the judge? No, that's what the sister told <laughs> us. Oh. Maybe she failed the uh, it's not a dish class. What an <laughs> idiot. I mean, it's not how a dish. <laughs> you are. Uh, you what know what? She should be put out. Mm-hmm. That's it. Like a dog. Just put yeah. him to sleep. So she said, look what I did to the car. Look what, Daddy, look what I did to the car. <laughs> he looked at her car, looked at her and just slapped her. If, if oh when God. you figure that out and your dad's coming home, you brillo the whole damn car. Yeah. That's what you do. You like, grab no, it. Dad, it was silver. What are you talking about? The sister said, because I, I need a sister more than, more than a girl. She couldn't stop laughing. It was the funniest thing in the world. And then the mother defended the father and said, well, look what you did to the car. It's a brand new car. Oh, my God. If he just Dude, I mean, wh- oh yeah, she was she was beautiful by the way. Oh, of course, just stunningly beautiful. She has to be just Except such, a, now such an idiot. There's nothing. Oh. It just empty. It just I change love, in her head. <laughs> I love that a beautiful skull. Just holds change like pennies. Just like change we, in a mason and jar. We all, we all love a beautiful girl with a red handprint on her face. Don't it we? is. Right, totally. We do. Yeah, that that horrible joke. Okay, continue, Josh. Okay, so <laughs> hotels are now starting. Uh, How dare you talk about women abuse on the show? No. New s- we, we have standards rooms. Here. They're low, but we have standards. Snore absorption rooms. What are they doing? They're absorbing the snoring of people. Patrons. How? Yes, there's also snore patrols where they're um, taking care of the people that are snoring, moving you know, them into snore absor- absorption rules so that they aren't bothering other guests. White people have so much money, they don't know what to do with it. <laughs> they don't know what to do with their snoring. Do, do you know about the uh, yeah. the elf, like Santa's retreat? You go to like the North Pole Hotel yeah. and elves tuck you in at bed oh, and I give wanna, you cookies and milk? I want to go there. Like little, little people. That's you want to go there, Jeff. Can I call them midgets? Is that yeah, is that you appropriate? You can call them. You midgets. can, right? Yeah. Why? Dwarves. You can call them dwarves. Dwarves. Too. Yeah. I don't think they like. Can you call them imps? Like Hobbits. But no, <laughs> no, no. But that's that's a, that's a that's Trolls. a medical term. Yeah. yeah. A midget. And there's a difference between a dwarf and a midget. Yeah. There is. Yeah. Now, can you you can't make you can't make medical terms yeah. dirty words. And don't tell me it's the same as the N word. First of all, retarded was a medical term. It is. A, it, Geraldo Rivera used it all the time when he uh. did that. When he did that uh, groundbreaking. His mustache is retarded. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, or when he was talking to his wife. No, it's a medical term, and and you can't you can't take a medical term and make it into a hate speech. No, right. you can't. I've never called a handicapped person retarded. No, you can't. You don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> you could. But you, you could. could. Yeah. Can you still say mongoloid? No. No. I use that term all the time. So I've heard I. of people as mongoloids constantly. I'll be like, what's up with that dude? He looks like a mongoloid. Like, dude, you can't say that anymore. Like, like I call, what are you talking like, about? You can use mouth yeah. breather. Mouth breather. Mouth breather. You know yeah. what I hate yeah. when you say that mouth? to somebody? No, no, I'm saying like you can use Mongo- mouth breather instead of mongoloid. 
That's what they're called, mouth breathers. Yeah, uh, that, like I never heard that. It's kind of like the same thing, you know. Just, you know what's the worst? No, it's still mongoloid to me. I mean, when it's one-on-one conversation with somebody, like it's you and a friend, yeah. and you're like, you're like, oh, look at that mongoloid over there, and the friend is like, oh, you Offended. can't say that. You can't say. Wait, that. Uh, it's just me and you. What's <laughs> the problem? I could say whatever I want because it's just us. Three girls were busted for an illegal lemonade stand this weekend. They were trying to raise money to go to a water park in uh, yeah, Georgia. And the police came and broke it up and said that, I'm sorry, but you have to close down your lemonade shop. It's you have to get a permit in order to How have a stand of any any sort. Twelve and fourteen. Yeah. Death penalty. Like and, and this insane. is a problem. Like another another thing. Right. Yeah. We're so like it, we're so we, we become so ridiculous. Like you need a permit. A five year old needs a permit. Mm-hmm. Like really, how, what harm is he doing? Yeah. Yeah. What, what, well, you know, you know. The buying that lemonade, he probably stir it with his finger. Of course, you don't he actually did. drink the lemonade. Right. You know, it'd be great it. if a health inspector came by and gave him a C. That'd be brilliant. <laughs> That'd you have to put it on the yeah. on the booth. Just no, it just said onto the booth. <laughs> what pending? Great pending. Yeah. Is it great, great pending? pending? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, statistics show that girls between the ages of seven and fourteen are more likely to commit crimes after having their uh, lemonade stand busted up. <laughs> That's yes, true. That's true. what they do. Well. It got a lot of local press, this lemonade stand being yeah. closed, and the water park actually decided to give them free tickets. But that's not... Oh, the, but yeah. See, no, 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 no. That's not... That doesn't solve anything. No, no it doesn't, but... Yeah, police actually... And who's that cop? I uh, know. Like, really, that who's cop that a Who's that a-hole? probably the same cop that busted the lady for her garden in the front. Yeah, yard. probably. Yeah, that guy had probably a bad day. And arrested like, the this guy. This is so... Vegetables, no. <laughs> lemonade, oh, hell no. <laughs> Fog like, and, and, we, and, no. and we talk about how we've we become so pussified. Yeah. Like, we're shutting down a five-year-old's lemonade stand, lemonade stand because they don't have 14. a permit. 12 or 14. One of them's in high okay. school. They they don't have a permit. <laughs> yeah. And, and then we're shutting down people's... 14 years, she was 14? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's high school. Okay. That's freshman Look year. Look at the kids. Okay. They're still saying. kids. They're still kids. High school. Well, how about if I, okay, what if I have a garage sale? So right. technically, I can't do a garage sale, right? Technically, yeah. No, no, you can't. Am I, am I right? They yeah. can shut me down. I don't have a permit. Right. No, you don't. Like, well, what the hell's going on? I'm permit. moving. How, I like how they're trying to prevent people from making money. money making money, yeah. 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 Listen, this recession's going on. It's going to be here for a while. Shut this thing down. They come in with riot gear and knock down <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> they uh, Do you have an employee ID? Oh, oh, now I understand. The lemons had AIDS. It was it's a lemon AIDS stand. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. Mm-hmm. Wah, wah, wah. That wasn't my joke. That was cool teacher. So you just said F you to the viewer. Good job, Coco. Uh, yeah, Continue, Coco. Joss. <laughs> okay. So it was a bad joke. I'm sorry. No. Thank you, Coco. I'm sorry that you... Maybe, maybe, so maybe you should North make fun Carolina, of our viewers. So in a North Carolina election for delivery. mayor, no one actually bothered to run in the small town. There's only 117 people in the town, and nobody wanted the job of mayor. The, there was very little compensation to be had by the mayor, so no one ran. So what happened now? No Anarchy. mayor. Yeah. Basically, they left the ballots blank, and you can like write in your vote. I'm the mayor of 100 like. people. Kunal <laughs> what a crappy town. What area. town? I don't know the name. Kunal's of that. like, I'm gonna go there right uh, now. I should go there. I think with uh, enough hello. GFQ viewers. Mayor. Yeah. I, I'm Just the mayor a of this field trip. Of this d- desolate. We're gonna town. make houses out of candy. It's <laughs> <laughs> the first. That's my first ruling. And racial slurs totally allowed. Illegal lemonade stands by the dozen. <laughs> That's We're changing plan. racial slurs. You yeah. have to call them different kinds of candy now. Yeah. <laughs> you should you should go down there and run under like Shut up, Kit Kat! Ku, like Kunal's <laughs> Kunal's crazy. You tell them good and plenty. But everything <laughs> starting with the letter K. You silly twister. <laughs> Continued lemon drop. <laughs> Alright, so Yeah, hurry up, Snickers. New <laughs> <laughs> Um Okay. So a New Mexican man, new like he's from New Mexico. He was a Mexican or, <laughs> no, or from New Mexico? He's a from New Mexican. New a New Mexican, Mexican he's one of those man. New Mexican. Ah, uh, uh, not one of those. <laughs> not, not one of those. Wait, wait. Does he have Does he have New Mexican money or old Mexican <laughs> money? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he's from um, a man from New Mexico. A New Mexican. By the way. <laughs> by, by the way, Even another you can't. Another yeah, pretentious thing, Jessica and I have said. We've had the discussion if somebody came from new money or old money. Yeah. Like, oh no, he has a lot of money. He's like, no, 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 but it's, it's new money. It's new money. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so a man from New Mexico was indicted on <laughs> charges that he laced 
uh, yogurt samples with semen oh <laughs> my God. at a supermarket that he was passing out. He's 32 years old. <laughs> he added his special sauce to the oh. yogurt oh. and handed out samples. I thought to it was kind of melty. That guy is the best. <laughs> why did French vanilla taste so salty? Like, here's the crazy why it part. It was kind of melty. Here's the crazy part. Mm. It was cold in there. <laughs> How many people tasted it and didn't notice? Yeah. And just thought it was yeah, shitty some, yogurt. <laughs> some crackhead, some dumb slut walked up. It's like, that's not yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she a slut, Coco? <laughs> Why is she a dumb slut? Why do you have to ask me questions after I'm She's a dirty trick. Just, just let it I'm be. I'm just curious why you All right, went fine. There. Okay, let's rewind. And then Kunal comes in and eats. It's like, that's not yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's a lot of anger in him. You see where he goes yeah, sometimes? It's is. interesting where yeah. he goes with it. Yeah. No. Okay. He's a nasty Heath bar, bar, this guy. So <laughs> oh, shut your darn Twix mouth. Okay, so a mom jumped out of a window after a two-year-old fell out of the window. They were both <laughs> hospitalized. What, what, is he, oh, man. what does she think? She's going to catch him in midair? Yeah, Superman know. did it. <laughs> Spider-Man did it. I don't know. Poor girl. <laughs> My child's falling out of the window. I'm going to jump after him. And, How and high up? Uh, Couldn't have been two. Five stories. What? Wow. Yeah, but they, they're hospitalized. They're probably in like full body casts. <laughs> the babies in the pool. Yeah, mother did one of these, like jump down, like, <laughs> like trying to swim faster. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. God. The baby was quoted saying, "My asshole mother dropped me from the <laughs> from the window mm -hmm. and then followed." Oh my god! Mama. All right, so um, a like truck <laughs> spilled 14 million bees onto an Ohio highway. Yeah, <laughs> wow. and people complain that the bees are gone. Yeah, they're well, out there. He dropped 400 hive boxes with honey. That oh, he was wow. transporting, and um, 14 million bees flew out. The honey's all over the road. Can you imagine the scene? <laughs> like, there's honey every. It's like a scene from a bad. This movie. is like this is like a story that like a man tells his wife after he's been cheating. Yeah, it's like right. oh, well, there was a, there was a trailer that crashed. <laughs> Just and bees, honey bees everywhere, everywhere, and honey all over the road. Before you know it, they're like bears <laughs> on the road. <laughs> People are getting mauled. <laughs> ah! <laughs> all right, so many know that Ohio State too. fans are. True, and they make the Ohio State sign, which is like the O, and then they make the H and yeah. the I. And the o. Okay. Let me guess. Village people want to like sue them for like taking their whole idea with the. Well, no. Letters. A man um, had in his funeral agreement that he would be the I in <laughs> in Ohio for the final um, his Ohio his final ho Ohio <laughs> stand. Yeah. He insisted that photographs were taken with his family and friends, creating the Ohio sign. And he's the I. Wait, he's that into like it? As dead, like dead, as dead. a dead human being. Like in the yeah, casket. Yeah, in the he's casket. In the casket, just he's just standing the eye. up. And they did it. Yeah, there was pictures of it. The, that guy's that into this stuff. How yeah. are they gonna? How, it's like it's not like oh. part of his wishes. I, I get it, but like, how how is he gonna find out if they did it or not? <laughs> like, well, you know what would have been like, great? You didn't do it. If they did it like laying down while the casket's going yeah. in, like it's yes, people are just like laying that. in O's and H's, and they're like, and now ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Charlie was a good man. He's a good man. Go Ohio. Like go Ohio. Ohio. Now let's go to the game. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, the replica of the house that was in Pixar's Up, mm. um, is now available. How's it going moving? A lot of people said that it was. I haven't seen it, but I they. Loved it. So it was a great movie, and um, it had a lot of fans, younger and older. Yeah. And so now you can buy a replica of the house from Up for $399,000. Oh, it's like an actual house you could live in. I don't think so. Wait, wait. So it's like a small, tiny replica. I don't know. Does it come I with an old man? I think in, it's actually made from Pixar. Yeah. They just showed like a picture of a tiny little one. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's in like an actual house like, that somewhere. Because I feel like that you couldn't just get the house because... The land property would, you know, be. Spring. If GFQ owns one next year, I know we made it. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. be honest. This is how I know we made it. By the way, Jess, Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez broke up. Yeah, that was. We like predicted six weeks that. Ago. No, it was. It was so week. what? Was Who cares? Week. Read the news. Yeah, no, that's true. We predicted we that. We predicted after that, that after that. Uh, what was it? The, v the VMAs. VMAs. Yeah, when he, well, he goes he was like, like that. It was so like funny. Rolling his eyes at her. Which is like, yeah, we're so in love. Yeah, thank with you. Again. Thank you for repeating that. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead, Jess. So you guys call it after the VMAs? Yeah. Yeah. Because of like he was rolling his eyes. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. D didn't you think that wasn't gonna last, right? Like no, the whole time. No I mean idea. that relationship. First of all, that relationship is so her. Yeah, 
and you know that he's just a defeated man. Oh, yeah. he's so and it's all about down. her. Yeah, everything is about her, and she cannot be easy to deal with. Do you think that uh, he he'll she'll come home and find him watching like hackers and the small yeah. scene that he's in? Yeah, and then just be like, shut it off, <laughs> shut it off. We're gonna listen to on the six. <laughs> We're gonna watch the cell. <laughs> We're gonna watch enough four times. Ooh. Wedding planner. Wedding planner. That yeah. was a horrible movie. So a woman was arrested for texting the word war. jerk to her ex boyfriend. For what? What was the what was the charge? Pennsylvania police say that the woman violated her police order to cease contact with yeah. the ex boyfriend. Yeah, Good. She was arraigned and uh, was released for twenty five hundred dollars. Um, the ex boyfriend got you know the what? text message Death and then penalty. called the police. <laughs> he believed that she was lurking in his bushes. <laughs> yeah, look at this, people. Crazy, crazy people. That's lovely. We we had a friend that would that would do that. Do you remember? She would like yes. hang out in his bushes to see where he's Creep. going. To, like not Creepy. even like to see if she's she's cheating, to see where he's going and when he's coming home. Yeah, it's weird. A crazy. So a Google Maps mix up sends park goers to someone's private home. Homeowners say that people keep coming up their driveway every day because Google Maps have cl- has claimed that it's a pathway to a park. <laughs> That's brilliant. So like hikers. There's a car parked in I the would living room. Sc- you know what yeah. I would do? I would just put like needles and like <laughs> broken, br- just like, like hypodermic needles. Yeah, like, like like AIDS <laughs> needles, just like Jones Beach. Okay, has. Right. I'd open a lemonade stand. Yeah, I would just put a lemonade <laughs> right. stand right there. All right, so uh, a mystery donor saved a free gym for Boston residents. Um, the gym is for homeless and low income families, and it was about to go under. What do you mean a gym to work out in? G- yeah. Like homeless people need to work out. No, like out. a guy whose nickname, whose name is <laughs> yeah. James. No, but what, wait, wait, wait a minute. Jim, Why, it's like, Jim Morrison. You're homeless. What, what, uh, that, well, that's your biggest thing to be in shape. Emla, even homeless men need to keep get a job. In shape. Get a meal. <laughs> yeah. I have an eight. I have an eight in six weeks, but I need to work out. I, if I don't get these push-ups done, what kind of homeless man can I be? That's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, a student gave his forty thousand dollars scholarship Idiot to other kid. students. He's an 18-year-old from Compton High School, and he had a 3.0 GPA, which gave him eligibility to go he to... went to Compton? Yeah. Oh, boy. He basically accepted he has no future. Yeah, yeah. He had a 3.0 GPA, which gave him the eligibility to enter a free throw competition. There were seven other applicants, or <laughs> seven other people that... <laughs> he got in college for a free th- with a free throw competition? Just listen. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so there was a free throw competition at the Compton High School, so... You had to have above a 3.0 to even be eligible to play. Mm-hmm. There were seven people who entered the three, the free throw competition. He won, and he won forty thousand dollars toward mm-hmm. um, forty thousand dollars scholarship. Yeah. Uh, within the weeks following the competition, he was given a free ride to California State University. Mm-hmm. And according to NCAA regulations, he's allowed to keep the forty thousand dollars as like pocket money. Mm-hmm. Um, but he decided instead that he would split it amongst the seven talented runners up. You know what you call him? An idiot. Really? Oh, I think yeah. it was really nice. Why? Take that, that money, put it in your pocket. How so? He's, he's giving he, back to the he's community. He's 18. He's giving back to the community. Why? He's that community is not going to do anything with that money. Free ride to college already. Yeah, but guess yeah. what? He needs money. He's playing ball in NCAA basketball. They're not going to pay him. Yeah, understandable, but he's going to... G- yeah, he's in college. Free ride. He's going to regret ride. that in five years. Uh, you're <sighs> when he blows out his knee and his dream of becoming an NBA superstar is over. And that 40K would have carried him somewhere? It could have been right. something. What's 40K going to do for you? Good six months. <laughs> like At 18? Yeah. yeah. 40 grand? Like, what is he going to do with that? Really? All the breadsticks you want at all? Garden that mm-hmm. that's six ninety five, mm-hmm. that's all it is for but the whole year. So all right, yeah. lifetime supply of bread. Save fish. the money. Yeah, you don't know what's going to happen after college. You know, you might not get a job. Yeah, but <sighs> I I don't know. I think the press and the play of that's just it's such a selfless thing. So selfish. So Florida just. grandmother <laughs> got stuck in the mud literally for four days up to her neck. <laughs> yeah, good. Um, she like sunk in the mud. Maybe she came to visit the kitty corral. That wouldn't have happened to her. <laughs> she's 62 years old. She was stuck there for 90 hours with no food and no water. But she kept her, she kept high spirits throughout the whole time. Um, fondly remembering how she had thoughts that people spend a lot of money to sit in mud spas and she's getting it for free. Let me ask you. Death penalty. Yes. Death penalty. <laughs> where, where, where in Florida was this? It just says Florida. I hope it was Broward County. <laughs> it definitely was Broward it's County. It's Kaylee Anthony's grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're in the last story of the day. Yes. The first ever 
Tickle Spa is opening in Spain with tickle therapy. Come on. And the kitty corral is ridiculous. It's $35 yes. for a half an hour treatment and $60 for an hour treatment. I would totally you will do it. be tickled to your pleasure. Why? Who wants to be tickled? I don't. Who wants right to here. pay to be tickled? Rich? I hate being tickled. I do. I you're you're dying over there, huh? The, just, the heat I, is just killing the you. The heat and the thought of being tickled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> getting to him. And also right the really coffin in Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> That's what really, really set him over the edge. I do not. I, I hate it, man. <laughs> Yours. Really, like the really. Ki- like who well, who would want to go there? Someone who hasn't been tickled in a while. Yeah. Someone who longs to be touched. <laughs> so, tickle yourself. So, well, you know, studies show. I mean, but but had they said who's tickled. going there? Like, who are these people that want to go to a tickle spa? Apparently, tickle there's corral. a need, or they wouldn't tickle have had a creed. That's it. ridiculous. It Tickling ridiculous. spa, seriously. Wait, I'll open up a tiki a t- Dude, tickle kitty corral. A tiki, a tiki corral. <laughs> yeah, a tiki, tiki corral. It's just tiki torches. They're gonna go out of business in one day because that first line of people that go in are gonna come out disappointed, saying they didn't tickle my balls. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, they're all gonna stand online waiting for hours to get in and start tickling each other and be like, you know what? I don't have to pay for this. I <laughs> uh, listen for five yeah. bucks. I'll tickle you. Any people mock the right. kitty corral? Okay, everyone, that's the news. Excellent. Good Thank stuff. you, Justin. Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh Good night.